this model show the glands? Um, some of them. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My brain. Okay, this is lab 10. Um, this is dealing with the endocrine system. So I'm going to go over some of the glands of your endocrine system. So, of course, um, we have the pituitary gland. This is your pituitary gland right here. You have your pineal gland. This is your pineal gland. Your hypothalamus is this section around down here. And next we have your your thyroid gland. This is your thyroid gland and these the dots. Where's the dots? I can't see here. These two dots right here, that's your parathyroid glands. Then you have the thymus, which is on top of your heart. So this right here, this is your heart. This little gland on top of your heart is called your thymus. You have on your on right here, you have on top of your kidneys are the adrenal glands. And we have, oh goodness, I forgot one, the, okay, we'll do that later. Um, we have also on the male, we have the uh, testes. And then on the female, oh goodness, right here, right here is the ovaries, the orange one right there. Not the orange, what color is that? That's yellow. Um, that's your, that's the ovaries. Um, we have the pancreas. I'll be back. Okay. I found one right here. This is your pancreas. Um, oh, it's right here. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Mercy. This right here, that's your pancreas. And it's like where your your stomach would be in the same area in your intestines, so that's the general area, so your pancreas. And so that's your endocrine glands. Um, everything else is a bunch of things that I'm just going to talk about. Um, one of the things is um, hyperintonalism. Um, so if you remember what happened during lab was that um, the fish, um, the little guppy fish, um, was put in... You're like crying. <laughs> um, was put in um, in insulin water, which then um, decreased its blood sugar. And as a result of decreasing its blood sugar, it put it in a comatose state. So it pretty much died, pretty much. And then we brought it back to life. Um, it wasn't well, necessarily fully dead, but we brought it back to life by putting it into. Um, sugar water and what sugar water does is that it increases its, its blood sugar level and then as a result it can you know generally become back to what its normal self it, it does have some type of brain damage though but um <laughs> that's but that's hyperinsulinism is when you have an increase of insulin and when increased insulin um causes a a decrease of your blood glucose blood sugar level um while you can you can, if you intake more sugar, that would increase your, that help increase your blood sugar level. Um, what else you need to know is your physio acts. We had two different physio acts, activity one and activity three. If you do have your CDs, please do those. But um, this is just a general, um, uh, general information what you need to know. So we had, for the first physio acts, we had two glands. You have your pituitary gland and your thyroid gland. And we have a thing called TCH and thyroxine. So your pituitary gland, its purpose is to release t um, to produce and release TSH. And what happens is that your um, TSH goes from your pituitary gland to your thyroid gland. And your thyroid gland, it makes thyroxine. It can only make thyroxine if, um, if TSH signals it to, release, to be released. So in your pituitary gland, PSH, TSH is released it goes through your cardiovascular system, goes to your thyroid, where there your thyroid gland would then produce thyroxine. Um, other things that you need to know, um, a thing called thyroid, um, what happened in the experiment is for like the rats, where 
we took out the thyroid gland and we took out the pituitary gland. So um, thyroidectomized means that they have no thyroid uh, gland, while hypophysomectomized, hypophysomectomized <laughs> it means that they have no pituitary gland. So if you have a thyroidectomized, you can't, when you are thyroidectomized, you can't produce thyroxine, but still TSH is being produced. However, hypo hyposectomized, you are not, you don't have a pituitary gland, so you're not producing TSH. So that means you're not producing thyroxine also because um, TSH signals thyroxine. So thyroxine can't be released unless TSH is produced to be, to signal it. So um, that's that. For the third one was dealing with bone density um, uh, and what increased bone density is um, estrogen and calcitonin. Estrogen does deal with um, they both increase bone density. So that's what you need to know for that. And that is it for lab 10. Thank you for watching. Wait. Oh. Oh yeah, and PTH. <laughs> PTH um, decreases um, bone density. So yeah, that's what you need to know generally, but you know, you can go into it more uh, through your physio -X. All right, bye-bye.